Hey guys, Tech Adventure with a video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to fix iMessage and sign out air message that you might have encountered using your iPhone. In this video, I'm going to share you guys a couple of tips to help you resolve this issue and also explain why you're facing that issue. This is a really simple fix, but if you know what to do, uh, it's going to be even easier for you. But before we dive into today's video, if you guys are new to the channel, we do a lot of tech news reviews and giveaways, so make sure that like and subscribe button. Also, if you guys are in the market for one of these devices at a discounted price, make sure you guys check out the links in the description section. So let's talk about why this happens. Well, this happens is sometimes when you update the software or you accidentally click a button or your time and date is off of your phone, it can't connect to Apple server, you're going to see that issue. So the first thing you want to do to troubleshoot it is simply go into settings. And in the settings, you want to go to general. And then general, you want to go to date and time. And now in the date and time, you want to make sure this is set to automatically and then verify that your time zone is accurate to the location that you're in. Sometimes it gets turned off by accidental if you do a software update or if you accidentally click it or somehow that gets messed up. So you want to make sure that's automatically in the right time zone. And if it doesn't pick up automatically with the right time zone, you can always manually do it and then turn it on again. So that's going to be the first thing you want to do. So hopefully that will usually resolve it for the most part. If that doesn't resolve it, the next thing you want to do is again, simply go into settings and in the settings now you want to go to your messages settings. So once you're in your messages setting this time you're going to want to look to make sure that iMessage is turned on and then you want to make sure that here in send and receive you have your email or your phone number associated there. So you want to make sure those things are there. If it's not you might want to make sure that you are signed in to your Apple account or Apple ID as well. So once you have verified that you're signed in and you're able to have iMessage turned on. Now the next thing you want to do is simply go ahead and restart the phone. This is the iPhone 13 Pro and the way to restart it, it's going to be pretty straightforward here. You're going to hold the side button and then the volume up button at the same time. So if we do this at the same time, now we can go ahead and slide it to power off. We're going to slide it off, give it about 30 seconds and then to turn it back on, you're going to simply hold this big button and it'll turn it on. You can also turn off by simply going to settings and then going to general and then you want to go shut down here and that will also shut down the phone again give it about 30 seconds or so after you shut it down and then turn it back on and hopefully iMessage is working for you the next troubleshooting thing that you want to do is actually go ahead and check the software updates of the phone so to do that you're going to simply go into settings and then general and then software update now you want to make sure that you are at least on the latest version of the iOS if you're having this issue sometimes again there's bug fixes that Apple sends out maybe there was an issue with the last update that kicks you off and iMessage isn't working go ahead and download the latest version of the software because that usually resolves any minor issues that you're going to be having the next thing you want to do is if it's still not working is simply again be in the settings and once you're in the setting you want to go ahead and do a network reset so a network reset can be done by simply going into general and then scrolling down to transfer and reset and this time you want to do is a reset here. When you see that reset here, now you're going to have an option to do what's known as a network reset. This will not delete any of your data. You want to select the second option. So this option again, like I said, it, what it does is it will delete all the networks and return it back to factory settings. Simply, basically all of your Wi-Fi that you saved will be gone and just giving it a refresh of your network on the phone. Again, doesn't delete anything. You're going to go ahead and click that and it will do all that for you. After you have done that and that should hopefully resolve it and if it doesn't resolve it the next thing you want to do is actually go ahead and check the Apple status of iMessages. So what Apple iMessage status is that when Apple provides all these service sometimes the service itself might be down because their server is down. To simply check that just open up any browser and check out Apple service status. So if you do that, what Apple provides is its system updates of any issue it's currently facing. As you can see, there's one issue currently with iCloud uh, email that's happening that they are aware of. And then if you click on all available messages, you'll see here all of their system things. And we want to check out iMessage. We want to make sure that it's available. Again, if this shows up as an issue, that's because that might be the reason why you're having issues in your region for iMessage. That's going to be key as well. 
the next thing you want to check is if that is available is simply going to be actually deleting any messages that have any issues for example as you can see there's a there's an explanation mark where there's a failure so this message could possibly be stuck in your phone and it's causing any issues you're going to simply go ahead and delete that message here this will delete everything or you can simply come here press and hold and then click on more and then highlight that one and then click on that trash can and then delete message and that will delete the message completely and if you want to delete the whole message itself you can slide it over click on that and then click on delete and that will delete everything as well so that's going to be another thing you can do and if all of that doesn't work the final thing you're going to have to do is simply contact your carrier to make sure that your phone has service and if you verify that as service reach out to apple support so they can help you as well that's going to be the last thing you do but eventually all of the tips that we share should help you resolve that issue so thanks for watching guys see you guys next time